Hello everybody and welcome back to Bounty Train where get you back on your train. We're gonna be doing some bootlegging of Alki Hall. So we're need, needing to get it all back to Knoxville. So we have some in Chicago that we need to take. We have some in Buffalo and some in Cleveland. So I would say we probably want to try and get to Buffalo. Probably get as far uh not as far as Detroit, as far as Cincinnati on one load of coal. Off you go my little train. The little train that could. And we'll be straight out of there once we've got the coal. I'm so glad I'm auto buying coal. I know that like if I was being really strategic about this, I would not auto buy coal. But I think while I'm having to, you know, focus on commentating and all that sort of stuff at the same time, it's really easy to forget to buy coal and then you end up stranded. So I like the auto buy so much better. It's a real help. Here's we're in Buffalo and here's our alcohol. We have 11 of it. So let's take that as quickly as we can back to, I would say we need to probably take this lock off. So you know what, I'm just going to pay for it, I've decided. So we're going to go back to Knoxville. Right, okay, so Cincinnati is contraband, Pittsburgh it's not. So let's go to Pittsburgh and then see if we can make it all the way through to Knoxville. Even if I have to tweak the coal consumption a little bit. Can we get all the way through? Yes, we can get all the way through. Good. No, I can't stop. I don't have time right now. And it camp. Oh, good. They're not going to be looking for our alcohol, though, so that's good. I'm worried about these like sort of army camps and stuff okay so we've got 32 days still to do this so that's 11 already done so we'll go all the way back to Cleveland this time I think which we could do three days yeah we made a big loss I know And I'm fighting for these shares. Ugh, coal consumption. You. Okay, let's go grab this alcohol. Oh, there's only seven this time. That's not so bad. And um, we'll use that to get back to Knoxville. Right, we're going through Cincinnati where contraband is... Okay. Let's just go to Detroit first where it's not a problem. Speed loss. Oh my goodness me, this is bad. Okay, Detroit, we're fine with alcohol. Um, but we need to get through to Knoxville without in one go. But well, we can, that's good. Uh, no. No, I don't want to go anywhere near you. I need to pay for the detective as well. Oh, what a pain. Is there a bank around here? No. This looks like a small town. They wouldn't have a bank. Okay, so we bought some coal. So we've got that one. So we just need to go to Chicago now. And then try and fix our train. In fact, I only have to move the, the alcohol out of Chicago. So what I'm actually going to do is fix the train. Uh, if we could go to St. Louis. St. Louis, I think it is. I think that eye, that's meant to be an eye, but it's a bit hidden. 
travel. Let's see how many days it's going to be to fix the train. Because I've got 21 days left to move it out of Chicago. Oh, and I can pay the pay Mr. Pinkerton here as well. That's good. Right. So let's see how long it would take to fix the train and the carriage. Because it's so broken right now. Pair would take me... Okay, 12 hours. That's not too bad. And what about the repair on that? That would take 14 hours. Again, not too bad. I thought it would be much worse. Okay, done. It's average condition for both of these, tra uh, the train and the carriage at the moment. I really need to start looking at getting them sorted. Okay, so we've got the detective back, so I can get rid of that, I can get rid of that. We've done steel delivery. Done that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. So I just need to go to Chicago and move the, move the stuff out of there. And the train is looking a lot better now. I was not very happy with the train being broken. Right. Let's move this alcohol out of here. Hmm. Steel. Oh, you can make a profit on that. Very nice. So... Move alcohol out of Chicago, so we'll go to St. Louis where there's weapons, and then on to Knoxville. That's alcohol, right? I can't stop in Louisville. I can stop in St. Louis though. Oh, I've now got 30. Oh, really? I was trying to do that in such a short amount of time, and I had like 38 days. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have been so worried about getting my blooming train fixed. Gee. So Knoxville, travel. I hate bandits so much. Okay, at least we're done with that. We can go around and start making some money now. I'm going to go up north for a bit and just do some money making. See what kind of trains. I'm going to have a look at trains on the way past, see if I can get a nice one. Um, alcohol, move it. We're in the middle of the night, which is good, because I think it's this guy. All the alcohol is here. And Cornelius has been blocked from getting his shares. Fantastic. So then we can try and get our shares. And then we can go to Detroit and meet James Barry at night and find where Samuel is, and that'll be some more shares for us. Also getting this license. But yeah, I think definitely time to just stop, take stock, and make a bit of money. And the best place for us to make money is places like Washington, Philadelphia, and New York, I would say. So I would say let's get back to Washington. Take us three days to get there. Yeah, let's have a look. What have you got? Steel. And tools. Tools for 20. And we're going to Richmond next, aren't we? So tools in Richmond sell for 94. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I will buy all of those. Steel in Richmond. Steel is selling for 45. Steel in Richmond goes for 111. As much as I can carry, please, which is four apparently. That'll make me a nice uh, little profit on the way, won't it? Sell that as soon as we get into Richmond. Oh no! I'm going to Washington. I wasn't banking on that. Uh, we'll see how much it goes for here. Steel in Washington. Hmm. 
goes for 96. So that's still not too bad. And tools in Washington go for 48. It's actually worth going back to Richmond to sell them off. It's worth the travel. No, I don't want that. Much better prices here. It'll cost me a bit in coal, possibly. But I don't care. 216 profit on that, 640 profit on that. That was a lucrative little stop, wasn't it, in the old army camp? Don't think I can go there again, though. No. Okay, but I'm going to travel back to Washington now because they're going to have better contracts for me, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. Let's see what they've got. Wait until opening hours. And I can run oil to Jackson. I'm going to run cloth to Utica. Yeah, definitely. It's closer than the other one. Jackson is a very far away one. So let's run some cloth to Utica. So Utica, travel. I really need new carriages and I need new trains and stuff, definitely. Oh, nasty, nasty things to fix. Hmm, come closer. I promise you can make a good deal here. Well, okay then. Cotton for how much a piece? Four. Oh, well, that's the cheapest I've ever seen it. 47 a piece. So let's have a look at how much steel sells for in Utica. That's probably what's breaking my train, carting around all this steel. Do we have paper in Utica? How about Boston? I can stop in Boston. If I change my route slightly. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, don't worry about it. I was already set to go to Utica. And it's, it's a bit of a pain, but I'm still going to make good money here. Ooh. 11 units of cloth for 1,000. 11 runs 11 units of jewelry for 3000. Why don't we do that one? Let's see. Right, so I want jewelry. I've just come here so I can see this. Uh in Boston, I can pick some jewelry up. That's one stop away for 94. Hmm. What about cloth then? Can pick up cloth in Boston for 12 a piece and they've got a ton. Yeah, I can do two really good contracts. Really good ones. Oh, actually, I'd better take the contract. Just in case it goes away. I don't think they do go away, but I always worry they will. I'm like, what if it goes away and then I can't get my contract? So let's take the jewellery contract. First. And we'll go and buy the jewellery. And then we need to fix the train, actually. I'll take the, I'll bring the jewellery back to Utica and then I'll fix the train. Tutsan and Arthur. I've got so many people that I can pick up. Why did I wait for opening hours? I just wanted to buy jewellery. <laughs> I want 11. Thank you very much. And we'll go back to Utica with that and that'll make us a bit of money be careful of this train it's really starting to get on its last legs now need to upgrade it very soon in fact i should look at what trains there are in the depot only like a rubbish one here okay trains are usually at the front mm, okay so wait till opening hours finish my 11 units of jewelry and then we'll do, we'll run 11 units of cloth as well. Because we can do that in Boston too. I don't mind going back and forward one. I don't think cloth is too expensive over there either. Oh, did I? I hope I picked that quest up. Oh yeah, I did. It's 11. Right. 11 cloth. 
back to Utica. <laughs> good money. Really good money for doing these. And I've got really good Utica reputation now, which is cool. I like staying up north. It's really good to stay up north. 11 units. Right, we're going to take tools to Louisville, and that would give me 2,950. I'll do that, but I'll do that once my fi once my train is fixed. I'm going to fix the train. Repair you. It's going to take two days for that one. Ouch. Repair you. That's going to take a day. You're in average condition, so you're in bad condition now. I'll still keep fixing you, but... I'm going to need to save up for a new train. It's a waste of my time and the problem is that then I lose Mr Pinkerton's services. I think I need to pay for that again. Ouch. Yeah, I do. Is there a bank here? No, there isn't. We'll fix up the train, we'll go back to Boston. Or New York or something. Let's get these on there. I'm extremely worried that Mr. Mr. Dude will get some... Right, you need to go to New York for a bank. I'm going to stop by Boston and see if they've got anything to take to New York. And also just make sure there's no contracts here that are going in the direction I'm going. Louisville. That would be great, but no. Need to get to the bank first. So we'll just go to Boston and then we'll see. Oh. Oh, right, yeah, I was fixing my train, so Walter got off. He doesn't like being on there while it's being fixed, apparently. Right, so let's go to New... No, let's go to Boston first. Cancel that. I need to stop just going straight past things. Okay, so... Look at City Hall. Mm, medicine to Philadelphia, fur to Washington. Could take fur to Washington, go via New York. Why not? Let's do that. If we see any good contracts in New York, we can always come back. Oh, of course, Washington's like a few stops away. Darn it. In fact, as well, did I even look at the trains? I need to keep looking at the trains and see if there's any good ones. Because my train's worth like 5,000. 7,000. 800 hit points. How much is mine? 1225 hit points. How much was mine worth then? Because that doesn't seem a very good train for the amount of money compared to this one. Eight hundred hit points. Okay, it has more hit points. It's a bit heavier. It has. Oh, it has more power. Okay. Yeah, so that would really be worth it. I wonder if I could get a. Well, how much is my train worth? I might have enough. Oh, that's where my pa passenger carriage is. Let's just see if I sell this. What does it sell for? It sells for 2,882. Yeah, I should be able to get that other one. Oh, HP is hit points. I need to... I need to make it very clear which is hit points and which is not. So we can take 63 tons now. We can take more stuff. That's really good. Really good. But also probably upgrade you as well. Firebox for the coal consumption, engine power... It doesn't try to be the fastest locomotive, instead focusing on pulling a lot of carriages. 
worth exactly what I need. Probably pull that around without any trouble at all now. Maybe even the caboose. Any passengers want to come to Washington? Because that's where we're going next. Good to have a new train. I'll work on getting a new car uh, a new carriage soon as well. Because if we look at the... I think we have to be in here to see it, but look at the conditions on them. That's perfect condition. That is in really bad condition. I could sell it for 1,300 and then we could get... Uh, there's no... All right, so all passenger carriages and stuff here, but we'll move on and we'll try and get a new one. Important to keep a good train. So New York, let's go to New York and see what's going on there. Actually, was there any? We still have room. And um, we could take, oh no, it wants us to take quite a lot of things in the wrong direction that's fine it's worth looking though in fact it's worth looking for passengers we want any passengers going to new york or washington that's likely no apparently not they all want to go in the other direction okay let's just go to new york then I'm glad I've got a new train though. It's horrible having a train when it gets to bad condition. Hey, here's all my dudes. It's my caboose here. Yup. Nice to have the train all back together with people to defend it and stuff. I'm gonna try and change these guys over as well as we get more money, make it a bit more defensible. There we go. Looking good. Although I would have to lose weight um, before I could take any really big cargoes. But this train still hasn't been upgraded at all. So we could maybe upgrade it to you know, pull all these passenger carriages around and stuff. Right, so does anybody here want to go to Washington? Knoxville, Wilmington, Washington. Four days to do it. Right, are we going to be in Washington in four days with this massive train? Four days and nine hours. A person wanted four days, I think. So no, we can't quite do it. I'm just going to go straight through to Washington, I've decided. Can't be bothered with Philadelphia. <laughs> it takes so long to stop. Slavery abolished in US territories. Oh, Walter's got a level. Nice. I really want to get him intelligence if I can. Health, melee, damage, and throwing range. No, we'll do some more gunslinger then. But I really want extra intelligence so I can unlock that and then I'll make him a healer as well. I wonder if he levels up from driving the train. Maybe I should get Frederick to drive the train. Let's have a look at these guys now. Oh, I don't, probably don't have enough money now. 1,065. I would have no money left. So unless he's a healer. Oh, he could be one. A survivor and an engineer. I'd almost have to put that into gunnery. No, we're going to leave you for now. We'll keep looking. But I need more money to... Um... Oh, actually, as well, I should be looking for replacement cargo carriages. Is it a medium that I've got? Yeah, it is. I could sell that. I think because of the upgrades on it, it actually sells for more than I can than, uh, buy in this one but it's worth it to have it in perfect condition. So let's upgrade the cargo a little bit. Lovely. 
a little bit short on money now, so we're going to need to do something to get some money back. I mean, I might leave the pass. I rarely take passengers, you know. I'm maybe going to just leave the passenger one behind. I don't like it. I'd rather have a small one, to be honest. Um, okay, so what are we up to now? We're going to try and wait, probably wait till morning and see if we can take any... Yeah, hand in our quest. See if we can take any more quests. Okay, it's nice when I don't have any timers on. Also, we need to pay Mr Pinkerton. Okay, well, we'd better get a really lucrative contract now because we have no money left. Steal to Richmond. Richmond is not very far away at all. I'd be happy with that. Weapons. And a supply runs for alcohol and fur. I could try a supply run for alcohol. But let's just take this to Richmond first, because it's just a little teeny tiny way away around the corner. There's a civilian camp on the way. I won't be able to take anything. Um, I think I have spare room. I've got three. So why not? Let's have a little look in the camp. What have they got? They've got food and they've got tools. The 64 and tool cell enrichment for eighty-three. That would be worth it then. Well, not that worth it. I'd make like sixty off that. Which is really not I really need more than that. To worry myself with it. So I could, if I can get them tools, I can get a couple of thousand for it. Or I can do some, I can do a really nice delivery run there, look. Um, I failed. Oh, nightmare. How long did I have to do that? Ouch. So that's like really... I mean, my Washington attitude is not too bad. It's wiped out all my money. <sighs> right, I better go and sell all this steel then. Luckily steel sells for a decent amount in Richmond, so sell that for a thousand. Uh, luckily, because I didn't have enough money to pay the fine, I don't think it took it off me. <laughs> okay, so... I need to really sort out my reputation here then, don't I? Now I can't do that lovely quest that gives me loads of money. I take cotton to Philadelphia though. Let's do that because there's nice things in Philadelphia. I think my train might be too heavy. <laughs> Five days to do that, right? Let's have a look. <clears throat> How long it'll take me to get to Philadelphia? Two days, that's fine, yay. I honestly think stopping in that camp probably re like may well have failed me that mission. So that's really bad. Okay, we have some money back now, that's good. Deliver tobacco to Louisville. Or oh, get 11 units of steel. No, I'll deliver the tobacco. I like delivery runs better. So I need to go to Louisville. That's actually quite a long way away. How long have I got for it? 13 days. Right, let's check. 
I can do it in five. But I need to stop in Pittsburgh for some... Uh, no, thank you. I thought there was bandits there and I was like, no! No bandits! Bandits are rubbish. Right. So we've got 22 days on the detective services, so that's great. Still need to do to steal tension. Deliver 11 units of tobacco to Louisville. Right. The Mogul 260 available in Louisville. Ooh, can pull a lot of weight, average speed and coal consumption. I just bought a new train, but it's nice to know where there's new ones and try and keep an eye on where the ones that I might want actually are. But you can't... The problem is, if you leave your train in a bad condition, then that becomes a real problem, so it's better for me to upgrade in smaller steps. Oh, look at you. Beautiful train. It would have 2,400 hit... Uh, horsepower to have extra hit points on it all sorts that'd be lovely but the main thing is that at the moment i've got um a perfect condition carriages uh, perfect an average right the caboose is going to need changing soon i would love to get the long cargo carriage when i have a bit of money as well so i have to remember that's in louisville too so Louis louisville is the place to be Oh, I also need to hand in my quest. I need to stop ogling all the trains. Okay, so 11 units of tobacco, so that's a little bit of money as well. I don't have enough Louisville. No, not enough reputation here to do a lot. I could do a supply run for bringing 11 steel to Louisville within 18 days. I know all the steel's generally up north. I reckon I could do that. Let's see where the steel all is, just in case. So, steel. Indianapolis is the closest. How long does it take me to get to Indi Indianapolis? Through Cincinnati to Indianapolis. That is a two day run. Oh, that's going to be easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I've got 30 tons of weight left, so it should be alright weight wise. If it's not, I'll leave the caboose. But... Yes, we can do that for you. I like. These confederate areas down south, I like to start getting good reputation with them because that way I can start going to the very far south, but I can't really do that while the reputation's bad because I'll run out of money. So it's kind of important to slowly work your way down. So Indianapolis, please, we'll go there, get some steel. So I used to not like these supply runs because I didn't realise that you could see how many of something was in a town. So thank you, you commenters that told me that because that would have really messed up my game. Right, so go to market and we'll get as much steel as we can. 11 I need. Thankfully it's not 14. I can only really carry with the caboose on 12. So I need to remember that. to Louisville. It'll take us four days this time because we're weighed down with steel. But that's cool. You can see, is that all the steel on the back? Oh no, my carriage took 321 hit points of damage. No, that sucks. My poor carriage. Okay, wait till opening hours and we will deliver that. So now I can take that cotton to Wilmington. I want to do that. That's amazing. Right, okay. Let's fix the train first though. The caboose took damage. I need a different caboose. Passenger, cargo. Okay, 
I could get the long cargo carriage at this point. So that would that could carry up to like 18 things in, at a time. Maybe get that once I get the next train upgrade though. I'll be careful that I'm not pulling too much weight. But there's no cabooses there, so we're going to need to look for new cabooses. Um, in the meantime, actually, I will fix our caboose. I will fix it. It's not really causing any trouble, but I don't really want four day repair time. No, you know what? I'm just going to buy a new one. Because once they get into bad condition, which this is kind of average condition at this point, it won't be long before it's in bad condition. Once it gets to bad condition, it, it causes problems. So we'll just leave it for now and try and buy a new one everywhere we go. Right, so I had a nice contract I was going to take, didn't I? We'll do this one and that'll be the last one we take. So Wilmington. Wilmington is not somewhere we've been before, so that's really good that they're wanting us to go there. So we need to go through Knoxville and Richmond. Or we can go around this way. How long is it going to take? six days and I have 11 days to do it so that's absolutely fine um, so I need to go to Knoxville first and then try to do Knoxville to Richmond nope no trading with bandits on the way okay so let's have a look at Helen um, what can you do, Helen? You are a gunning, archering, butchering healer. Uh, yes, please. Um, let's just get Frederick off the train because Frederick will be the one. I mean, Frederick has now got some good healing, but he's still level four. So, Frederick, please step off the train. Thank you. Helen, I would like to hire you. Thank you very much. That's better. <laughs> Level 19. I think we can do with that. So then we'll find someone hopefully to replace Andrew as well. Right, so let's have a look in the Knoxville thing and see if there's a... Ooh, nice train in Knoxville. A little bit less expensive than the other one as well. So if this train starts getting knackered, well, beaten up before we get the new one then we could maybe come here and get that one before we get the one that's 14,000 right so big caboose that's what we need 2,000 buy that sell that that's better so we're not carrying around a caboose that's like completely rubbish I'm gonna get shot in like two seconds okay cool so we've got a new person on our team as well that's really good Right, so, we were in the middle of delivering cotton to Wilmington. We won't make it there. We will make it to Richmond. It's actually getting a bit hairy there, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be that tight for time. How long is that going to take? One day, that's fine. Phew! See, I'm missing all these auctions. I really need to be paying more attention and picking them up. Does it show there the auctions? Yeah. I can buy a bakery starting at 7.50 if I can make it to Memphis in time. Supply run, 11 units of weapons. Uh, no thank you. 7 units of food to Memphis or get them cotton. That's no good. We'd be better off uh, making our way back up north, honestly. But it was nice to go there and just get a little bit of... I can get the paper there actually as well. That'd be a good one. Not that I'm really using it. Urgent mail to Knoxville. Faster the delivery, the better your payment. 
955 minus 90 per day. I can't even bother with that. I'm not a post train. Go away. I'll go find some better contracts. Right. If we go back to Washington, I would say that's probably going to be the best thing. We'll go via Richmond. We'll see if there's, there might sometimes... I'm getting better um, reputation in Richmond nowadays, so I might have something I can do there. But actually, I think I'm getting a bit sucked in, and I think, really, I should be ending the episode for today. So I really hope you enjoyed it, doing our little uh, alcohol smuggling run, and then just getting a bit of money as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a like. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves, and keep being awesome.